Hello, all you beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to do some store finds, which I have got TJ Maxx, some Marshalls, and some Dollar Tree. I got a little bit of decoration stuff for St. Patty's and Easter. They got so much in the stores, y'all. That stuff just be calling my name, but I be looking for the deals, y'all. And at the Dollar Tree, they, they be killing have a little tier that sits on my kitchen table, and I like to decorate. <laughs> I like to decorate it because the my kids get a kick out of it. My little grandbabies get a kick out of it. So, and we're gonna start today in no particular order. So, and you guys can just unbox with me. I found the Hot Tools, y'all. Hot Tools hair dryer. I love Hot Tools. I feel like they last quite a long time. Um, my last hair dryer I bought from Walmart. He kicked the bucket. Um, just burn out, wouldn't turn on. You know how that goes, it just happens. Um, I apologize for the lighting in here. My lighting in my apartment is not that great, so. I'm working on it, man. Don't judge me, I'm working on it. But, like I said, I found this at TJ Maxx. It, it was $19.99, you cannot beat that. If you look on Amazon, these are $45 for this exact same one. And like I said, I love Hot Tools. I feel like they last a long time. They do a good job. Um, so that's that, I got that one. Like I said, I bought me some decor and I'm not going in no particular order, but I found this little Hoppy Easter. I found him at TJ Maxx and I loved him. So, and I think I actually posted this in, in a video. I don't know if it's a him and a her, but to me it is. So I'm gonna go with that. And this bad boy was only $6.99. So yeah, I love it. But like when I get my tear done or when it gets closer to Easter, I'll post this. I'll post my little tear I sit on my table. <laughs> Got that. Um, let's see, what else did I get? I actually went to, oh. I went to the Dollar Tree and I got me some wood, wooded bead and garland. It's got the little leprechaun on it. I thought it was super cute, the, the little leprechaun. I was hoping I could find one with a pot of gold and my Dollar Tree, I did not find one. But I like I said, if y'all watch some of my other videos, I know y'all see my little gnomes. I am a gnome lover. I know not everybody is, but I love this little gnome. He was only $1.25. So I brought him and two of his friends home with me. I just gotta find his friends. I don't know where I put them. So a dollar twenty-five. I mean, dollar twenty. Closer to Easter, I will decorate with that. And I got these cute little baby carrots from the Dollar Tree. Um, I'm gonna use that for Easter, obviously too. Oh, I just remembered where these little friends are. I'm gonna friends. go get them. You know, my friend had asked me what kind of like what your thing is like at Christmas, because some people's are Santa, some people are gingerbread, some people our snowman and I didn't really think about it until I got to decorating and I found that I had little gnomes so little gnomes I guess is probably really what I like even if they're not Christmassy but I found this little guy at the Dollar Tree a dollar twenty-five I also got two of his friends I love the little rainbow dude I don't know I'm probably gonna name them probably sounds a little mental but I thought they were cute and then I got his other little friend so I was like, it just, I just, I can't help but think about how cute they all are and that they need a family. Cannot beat that. And I was in the mood for coffee today when I got home. Cause some days when I get off work, I just want to come and sit on my balcony and drink coffee. And I've been craving that all day long. So I got me some coffee. I probably really just put a little coffee as my creamer as you can tell, but it's what I like. And I got this cup at the Dollar Tree a long time ago for $1.25. Cannot beat that. And it looks a little bougie, so I'm all about it. But anywho, let's see. I got some little Easter trees, and now that I'm home, I feel like this one is more turquoise and this one is more green, but I'm gonna use them for Easter too. So I'll be decorating with them bad boys. Again, these are in no particular order. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to put them on my tier yet, but I like it. It was a little cheesy, but it had a pot of gold at the bottom of the hat, so I went with that. So I got this. I also got me another little gnome, but so now there's a family of four. I think they're going to be living their best life. I ate it, and then I got me a little, little four-width cover to decorate with, and then they have these for decor for too. I mean, you could put them anywhere you want, but like I'm gonna set them. I have a three tier, like I said, on my table, on my kitchen table, but for about 25 a piece, honey. 
And you could do some really cute stuff, like I said, if you're into decorating. So I got those. Went to Bills. Or Bills. Bells. Bills. Bills. I read online that they bought out Burke's outlets and that they're based out of Florida and that there's 650 stores. Or at least that's what it says on Google. So I thought that was interesting. I got me a 25 pack of hangers. You can never have enough hangers. And I personally like my hangers to be all one solid color. I've just recently started getting that. Well, not recently, maybe last couple of years. Cause I like that. I like it to be aesthetically pleasing. And they were only 9.99 for a pack of 25. And I also prefer the velvet ones just because I hate when I hang my, when I hang my shirts up, whether they be like tanks, um, t-shirts, long sleeve shirts, kind of like this one, my work shirts I wear for work. I hate when they slide off the hanger. So that's why I prefer the velvet. But like I said, 25 hangers, 10 bucks, can't beat that. And then I also I actually got this from TJ Maxx. I've actually got one more bag from TJ Maxx. I love T-Fowl cookware, love it. I don't know about y'all, but I have two daughter-in-laws that love to cook and they love cookware. And I actually got this one on clearance for six bucks. And, but this one's technically for me, but the point of that story was, was to tell you that I Christmas shop kind of all year long and I save it till Christmas. So that way it's not such a drastic um, expense at the end of the year. So I will buy them like little stuff throughout the year and keep it and then like i said everybody gets for christmas at one time or i think this year we're actually going to draw names and then that way um which they have birthdays and stuff throughout the year so i like i said i always like to buy that stuff kind of ahead of time so i have it in stock so it's not such a massive hit I like to have it just so it's just not so financially stress strainful let alone stressful so that's pretty much what i do i'm just sharing that little tidbit with you i don't know what y'all do actually in the comments if you can leave me like how you do your christmas if you draw names if you buy throughout the year or if you just wait till like a week before christmas or so but anywho also bought me a wet brush i love wet brushes um i think i might have some secret obsession with this because this, this is probably like my fourth wet brush um lots that they don't wear out because you know the little bristles go inside sometimes but i got this little bad boy at tj maxx and he was 4.99 and he's blingy and I noticed I like blingy things, even though I'm not really a blingy person, but $4.99, honey, I, I went past that up. I got him to go with my hair dryer. Um, I got me some lint rollers. Can never have enough lint rollers, y'all. This was only $4.99, and I actually ended up buying this one. I picked up a couple others, and they had like two packs, but this one had a little extra one in it. When I go to work, sometimes I go into um, people's homes, and they have animals. I usually end up with dog hair or cat hair on me and I always leave one of these in the car because I wear scrubs to work. And let me tell you what, depending on the color of milk, like you can see it. So I always just keep one of these in the car and I go through these quite a bit. So, um, I got me a brush cleaner for my makeup. I do wear makeup. I mean, you probably, I don't know if you can really tell on camera, but I don't like wear a lot of makeup obviously, but like I wear my base, my foundation little bit of blush, highlight it, contour that bad boy, but my brush is neat clean and I had one somewhere and I lost it, but I like this one just cause like you, looks like you could put like a bar of soap in it, but I like it cause you could do like rub your brushes at the bottom. So, and this was only $4.99 at TJ Maxx too. So a living proof intense moisture mask. This, um, it's got frizz control. I absolutely love living proof. This is $24.99 and this is actually $6.7 fluid ounces that's a pretty good size um it's a maximum maximum frizz control and conditioning i love living proof i have super thick hair and it's thick and i can lay it down when i of course roll it or flat iron it however when it is raining outside or when it is 110 degrees summer summer time and it's humid out here honey my hair will blow up and like move faster and this stuff will lay it down that's why i love it so good so if you get real frizzy hair, you got thick hair and yours does that, I highly recommend if you've not tried Living Proof to try it out. It's so much cheaper at TJ Maxx. Um, it, it, they do sell it at Ulta. I have bought it at Ulta when I've not been able to find it in the past. But like I said, I absolutely love it. I also bought the Living Proof shampoo. Now this is pretty small, but a drop, like a quarter size or like a nickel size amount will go a very long way. So if you haven't tried it, I recommend it. And this bad boy was $5.99, so couldn't pass it up either. Plus, I needed some shampoo and some conditioner, which all this my conditioner is probably going to last me a little longer. 
But I just thought this all is this is from Marshalls. I bought actually I've got my toothbrush in here that I forgot that I got from the dentist the other day. So I mean if you want to see that, you know, you, you dentist when you go to the dentist get your teeth clean, they give you a little little treat pack. Even as an adult, I, I love that. But anyways, I stuck it in the bag and forgot it was in there. I also got some dermal planning razors. I know they say you're not supposed to do this yourself, but I do do it. Um, you know, sometimes you just get a hairy face and you just gotta shave it. I don't recommend getting like a regular razor to shave it. If you've ever had a uh, dermaplasia done, I absolutely love it. I've had it done in the past. Um, I do do this, my, like I said, I do do this myself. I don't like get crazy or anything with it, but whenever you put your makeup on after doing this, it just lays down like a canvas and it's so much smoother. And honey, at my age and these wrinkles, I need that. So, like I said, it makes it makes it make it just makes your makeup go on better and smoother. Now I'm not I can only speak for myself, but I know that when I do my face and I put my makeup on the next day that it is it goes on it just goes on so much smoother and I feel like my face is so much cleaner and no I do not grow back a beard. I know everybody seems to worry about that, but I say if you know if you want to try it, do it. Just make sure you do your research. But I do do it. Um, and these were five ninety nine. So I normally use the Twinkles. I have actually never used this brand, so I'm going to give it a go. I normally order the Twinkle off of Amazon, but I have been out, so I pick these up just to try in place of. Um, I got some face mask, brightening face mask in lemon, and this is Tony Molly. Um, it's a mask sheet. There is, I believe, ten in this pack, and these were nine ninety nine. You can see there is there's quite a few in that bad boy. And I know that when Christmas gets here that I will be given, I'll put some of these, um, probably like in their, in their gift baskets or whatever, where like his birthdays come, like if I make them a birthday bag, I normally slide something in here, especially for my females, my female friends, um, my daughter-in-laws, so, and I'm interested to try these just because I like sheet masks and I love the smell of lemon. Let's see what else I can get in y'all. And these are just random things that I bought, so, and they might be a little cheesy, but they are things that I needed. Um, little um, measuring spoons and cups. I have no idea what has happened to all my little measuring spoons. I don't know if uh, the kids got a hold of them or grandbabies got a hold of them. I have no idea. So, but I needed some of these and I wanted to try these. I do have measuring cups, but I thought these might be a little easier like when I'm making a recipe and I do cook, I cook actually, I cook every single Sunday. I meal prep my food once a week. So I thought these might be a little bit easier than like having to use my measuring cup and having to keep washing out and use it again, wash out, use it again, which I might have to do with these too. I don't know, but I wanted to try these out. And then they was like, they come together and it's a pretty good deal. I mean, these were only $3.99 and you get eight, you get eight piece measuring and spoon cup. So couldn't beat that for $3.99. And I'm all about, I'm all about a deal. I like deals. I mean, who don't like deals? I mean, if you do, if you don't like deals and you just like spending money and spending all your money, then daughter-in-law, like I said, y'all, I shop for ahead of time for Christmas. My daughter-in-law, one of my daughter-in-laws is a little Ray Dunn fanatic. So I've been trying to build up some little stuff for her, but it's like a little dipping bowl and it's got the numbers one, two, three. I had not seen this, but it was only $9.99 at the TJ Maxx or at the Marshalls, my bad, at the Marshalls. So I bought this for her and I'll be saving that either for her birthday or for Christmas. So, so it's gonna be a minute for she gets it. And I know that sounds a little crazy, but I'm all about saving my coin, y'all, and not being stressed about money. I don't I don't like being stressed about money. And then the last thing I found, I broke my container that holds coffee one morning. And so I wanted a cute little thing and it's nothing real fancy, but it says coffee on it. And I thought it was real cute. I had a clear one that had like the, the white chalk that you could put on it. Um, like I said, I broke it. So I said, well, I'm gonna buy me another one. And this little, this little bad boy, it seemed like it, it seemed like it would still pretty good to keep, still keep my coffee fresh. Cause I drink coffee every morning before I go to work. And this bad boy was only $6.99. So pretty random for all the things that I got. But I just want to share that with you all. And if you watched this video all the way through, if you made it all the way to the end, comment something that you decorate for besides Christmas. Something that's other than Christmas that you decorate for. Um, I appreciate y'all watching. I will see you all next time.